Hey, it's Ryan from MuffetSupply.com and in this video we're going to be installing some Autoply cargo van insulation in our GMC Savannah. Let's get started. Okay, the Autoply insulation kit is a pre-cut, pre-adhesived uh, insulation kit uh, cut for specific cargo vans. This happens to be for the GMC Savannah or the Chevrolet Express. Uh, we happen to be installing this in a 155 inch wheelbase or that extended van, but the installation and the product is actually going to be the same for that shorter wheelbase, that 135 or that regular body. Um, there's just going to be a couple of panels that you're going to leave out if you have that 135 inch wheelbase. So for the rest of the video, it's going to be pretty much the same. So one thing we're going to do before we get started is make sure that all of our surfaces are clean. This is an, a used van, so there were some dirt and things on there, so we went ahead and cleaned everything uh, on the walls and on the ceilings. Even if you have a new van, I'd still recommend going through there and cleaning it with a surface cleaver, cleaner just to get any uh, grease or lubricant or whatever may still be on sheet metal from the factory. Now, this is how your product's gonna ship to you. It's gonna be in a box like this. You're gonna have all your panels. The panels are separated by some type of separator. In this kit, it happens to be a cardboard separator. And so we're gonna go through this section by section and line everything up uh, with the van, make sure we have all of our panels in the right spot, and then we'll apply section by section. So the first section I believe here is going to be the driver's side wall and rear doors. So let's go ahead and see if we can line up our panels. When you get a nice panel like this that has a cut in it like that, it makes it kind of obvious where it goes. So this one is going to go right here by that fuel fill. We got our two panels here. You can't see this, but it's going to be for the rear doors, basically where the glass is, uh, if you have glass. Um, we have glass on ours, so we're actually not going to use these panels, but if you didn't have glass, you would put these essentially over those two spots where the windows are. And now we got to a cardboard separator, so we know we're done with a section. This was the driver's side wall in the rear doors. So to keep things from getting too messy, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this section first. So applying these are really simple. You can see there's a pre-adhesive on the back. Just peel away the backing and stick it to the van. You know, I've got a little cut piece here. It does have to slide under some of the little spots on the, on the wall. Um, so once you expose the adhesive, it is really sticky. So Sometimes uh, you may want to leave some of the backing on until you can kind of get it in place and then remove it and stick it uh, kind of in sections. Other times it's easy to just remove it all and stick it as one piece. So I'm going to see what works best here for this rear corner. Now while these are precision cut forward the, look, the cavities on the van, doesn't mean you can't cut it if you want to accommodate uh, something, make it easier to install, or if you have um, a future plans on, on a piece of equipment or something you're gonna put in here that you need to accommodate for. So you can always cut this if you need to, or if you want to, uh, you know, this overlaps with kind of this top part right here and on the edge here. If you didn't want it to overlap for whatever reason, you could trim it a little bit just to get it to fit there nice and snugly. Okay, now that we have the driver's side attached, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next section, which I believe is gonna be our passenger side wall and our passenger side door. Then again, we have our two panels for the two side doors on our hinge side door. Um, I think it's the same, you know, the dimensions are the same if you have the sliding door as well. And then we come again to our separator here, so it looks like the ceiling 
is everything that's remaining in the box. I'm gonna apply this section now. Now in this back corner, you have your um, factory emergency jack. Your little panel here, you know, technically you could just leave this backing right on here and slide it. It's kinda gotta slide it behind that factory or that emergency jack, but it stays in place pretty well. So it depends on if you're gonna be covering it or not, or, uh, or what you wanna do, but you could get away without doing the adhesive there. Uh, but you would probably wanna make sure that you are covering that with some type of a wall panel or something like that so it doesn't fall out in transit. So I'm putting a little slit in the corner up here just because, uh, so I can tuck some of the insulation in this upper corner back here um, without it kind of being all wonky and stuff like that. So. So I think you can kind of see why I put that slit over here uh, in the corner, just so I could tuck some insulation up here a little bit. Still have this kind of come right to the edge. So now we're at a point in the video where maybe things look a little bit out of order. We actually completed our wall liners, ceiling liners, floor, bulkhead. Um, but now we're gonna be doing our insulation on the windows. We kinda are doing this last. We wanna get everything done in there first and then moving out of these side windows. So it's the same kind of deal here. You're gonna hold these up. What I've noticed on these windows is that they are cut square. So what I'm gonna actually do is cut a little bit of a curve Really, all you need for this is some scissors. I'm gonna try and hold this as tightly as possible and get a good, I have to go back and forth a little bit, but it's pretty easy to cut through this. I eyeballed that and you know what happens when you eyeball things. Not as great as, as I would like in some of these corners. All right, on this window I did a little bit different strategy that I think I like a little bit better. I just kind of scrunched these corners <laughs> uh, right there. Like I said, I'm gonna be covering this with some Durtherm liners like we have back here. So um, I just want it out of the way so it doesn't pop through that, that white liner. Okay, now we're on to our final section which is gonna be the ceilings. We have a bunch of rectangles. Just gotta figure out which one goes where. So just a couple of things to look out for on the express van on the ceilings. You do have a wiring harness right here and you have like a piece of conduit or something that it runs through. So I'm kind of going a little bit longer on the passenger side. So I'm not going over top of that or anything like that. I'm trying to slip it behind there as much as possible. Other thing is these lights. It's just, uh, you know, we're gonna be removing our lights. So I kind of left me a little bit of room to pull all the wiring out when we do that. Um, but those are just two things I noticed as I'm doing the, the ceiling in this van. Now up here at this forward most panel going on the ceiling, you need to slip under the headliner here a little bit to get all the way down to that cross member. And then, you know, you got to stuff under these little OEM trim pieces as well to get it in there. So this one's a little bit of a tight fit to get in there, but you do need to go under this headliner just a little bit. Now we do just have a couple pieces left that we're not going to show in this video, but we have our rear doors right here. This is going to go essentially in the top portion of those doors where the the glass would be if you have the glass. We happen to have the glass. We want to leave that open. We're not going to use these. Now the bottom of the doors do have that OEM trim. So there is an air gap there. There is some insulation benefit there as well. It's also kind of complicated to get insulation around all the little nooks and crannies with the latch and the lock and all that that's inside the door there and removing that panel and, and all of that. So that's why they don't include those uh, panels with this kit. 
Now that just about does it for this installation. If you're looking for the auto ply for the Savannah Express or any other van, or you're looking for any other equipment to get your van ready for work or adventure, be sure to check us out at upfitsupply.com. My name is Ryan and have a good one.